first day of the 10th of May. Didn't make any video yesterday because we spent the whole day here in the hotel lobby and just sitting over there on a bench just looking at maps and thinking and thinking and planning and looking at visas and you now I think we've made a kind of plan. So uh, today we should be back on the bike. Okay, now we're just taking a decision. We're going to take the mountain road today. I think it's up on the... We just found a nice campsite up there, so... About 400 meters up, we don't need to do all the climb today if we don't want to. Mm, yeah. It's 800 meters all the way to the top. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. Now we just do 400 meters and camp there up in the mountains. So, hope the weather stays okay. Should be a little bit of rain this afternoon, but hope it's not going to be too much. So. So you get your energy levels filled up, Jamie, what you're having there? Morning. Okay. Okay, back outside again in the sunshine. Just uh, need to do some new brake pads on my bike again. Got the same problem that Jamie had a few days ago. Worn out brake pads, but now nice new ones are being put on. So get that done and then uh, we can get biking again. But, uh, the weather's much better today. Yesterday was cloudy all day and a little bit raining, so we just sat in the hotel lobby here looking at maps and thinking and thinking and thinking and planning. From all the countries we're from here now we need to apply for visas and some are easy to get, some are you have to apply in advance, so just to check that so make sure we don't end up with a delay and make a plan for, for Iran, so um, yeah, not interesting but something has to be done. That was probably the hardest day we've had so far on the trip. <laughs> Mentally challenging, looking at the options. And so today's easy, just get back on with the biking. That's the easy part. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's a market here today. Uh, lots of activity outside the hotel. So, so yeah. We will get the bikes, um, brakes finished, bikes loaded, and we'll be off. So, lots of life here today. There was nothing yesterday. Where did you go on? Yeah, I come from the west, can I? Let's roll, Daddy. Oh, I blend totally. Let's roll, Daddy. Ready to go again? Yeah. Get out of the hotel? Okay, let's go and see some mountains then. Hey, yeah, it's leaving the town of Egidia. That was a nice place to visit. Okay, now we've got to leave Lake Egidia behind. Turn away from that now. It's Egidia, it's to a place called Axel. Look at the mountains. Just one kilometer down the road, up away from Egidia Lake. It's really nice scenery. Really nice mountains and green here. <laughs> okay, this is where the mountain starts to climb. You got a. Uh, 800 meters to climb over the next 70 kilometers. So, the views look amazing. Nice green grass, more like Austria than what we were expected in Turkey. Turkey could be like this, but we said that before. Very yeah. green, nice. Landscape here. Yeah, we checked on the internet yesterday, and it is actually an area where they are mining uh, for marble. So, seen some huge blocks of it on the back of trucks, so that's what that is. Okay, started raining a little bit, so we're gonna have our lunch here in the forest. Nice. T-shirt on. Yeah, like a nice place. And today's lunch is break again. 
Yeah. And here the man say this is turkey brick. Spotted some storks. Not something we normally see in Denmark. These, these are storks and in Buddha Lake we saw flamingos. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Biking in warm countries is that if it starts raining, it's just too hot to bike with your rain clothes on. As the second it stops raining, you just completely boil up with heat. So. We've just covered uh, two and a half thousand kilometers since we left from Zadar in Croatia. And 500 of those, that was in uh, Turkey. And, uh, all together in Turkey, we've got 2,000 kilometers, so just a quarter of the way in now. So, it gives you an idea of the scale of Turkey, it's a very big country. Climbing again. So we gave ourselves a bit more work to do choosing a 800 meter climb instead of staying in the valley, but it's worth every second because the view is much better. So far, normally I don't choose to go on a hilly road if there is a flat road, but so far it is worth it. It was really nice scenery and not so decent. The roads are nice to not just bike on the main roads, but yeah, change of scenery. Yeah, yeah, nice and quiet, but really worth it. What a road, unbelievable. Got to be the best biking day we've had in Turkey so far. The nicest scenery. So biking in Scotland, but with no traffic whatsoever. Really quiet. Okay, this is where the real climb starts, past Mount Tepesi, I think it's called. We've got to go up to 1,800 metres, the mountain's 2,800. We should be able to see it a little bit later. Now it's time for some climbing. Calves here to look at. I think I'll let us pass, please. We want to go the mountain. <laughs> didn't last all day. Had the crew quick teamwork to get the tent off. 
before it starts raining and the uh, and the view is gonna be good enough I think okay I managed to get the tent up before it went dark before it started raining oh, <laughs> thank you to our biking squad for just making us get the tent up before it starts raining actually looks a little bit lighter now so. yeah yeah dark clothes are fun Quite uh, convenient as well that there's actually fresh running, running water. Quite a few places we've seen in Turkey. And there's one right here where we're camping, so it makes it much easier for us. I mean, wild camping. You can live without a lot of things, but water's difficult to manage a long time without, so it makes it much easier. Washing and cooking and things. So let's have a cup of tea. Our own Turkish chai. Not <laughs> be good to try. Yeah. And actually, it's quite the chai. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we start with that today before we eat, just to warm up, and see if that mm. helps. Because me, always cold. The other day we had tea after our dinner, and then I got warm inside. So now we'll do the opposite way today and see if I can get warm first. Okay, this is my daddy's favorite camping place. He likes every time to come up in the mountains and have a have a place where you can camp and where you can see a brilliant uh, view. view. Yes, this is daddy's favorite. Ten points for this place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, for me this is what adventure biking is all about. A nice quiet road to cycle on. Nice smooth tarmac. Um, well, it doesn't have to be smooth tarmac, but today it was. But, uh, nice quiet road, mountains to look at all day. Um, not much traffic. The occasional small town to come through, and uh, now to finish the day. An extremely peaceful place. Just sitting here with the cooker going. Sitting here with the cooker going. We have some food here and we can just enjoy an evening sitting looking at the mountain over there. So, yeah. That's what it's about. Every day is different, but this day is a good day. <laughs> okay, so that was the end of today. Just falling dark now here up in the mountains, and now we're up here all on our own. Tomorrow we'll carry on up, we're at 1,400 meters now. We have to carry on to 1,800 meters, so we've got another 400 meters to climb in the morning. We'll go past the mountain over there, Mount Tepesi, I think it's called. It's actually 2,800 meters, but uh, we'll just go by the side of that, so let's hope the Sky is clear tomorrow, so we get a nice view of that as we cycle by. So, yeah, so that was a good day, excellent day. We'll have a nice night here in the tent, in the mountain, and then enjoy the peace and quiet. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yeah.